from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Boone Pickens Stadium here in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and we have a dandy for you tonight. Your Horn Frog sitting at 6 and 1 overall, undefeated still in conference play. They are here to take on the Oklahoma State Cowboys, who are 5 and 1 and looking to knock off a top 15 team in the Horn Frogs and move themselves up in the conference standings. We will give you a quick conference standings update before this game starts. Horn Frogs come into this game in second place in the Big 12 standings, one game behind the Kansas State Wildcats, who are still undefeated at 7 and 0. Both TCU and Kansas State are undefeated, however, and, T and Horn uh, Kansas State, excuse me, had won earlier today against their uh, rivals, their in-state rivals, the Kansas Jayhawks. So it's up to TCU now if they want to remain still tied for the lead in the conference, one game back overall of the Wildcats. They need to win tonight, but don't count out these Cowboys tonight as they are one game behind the Horn Frogs, sitting at four and one in the conference standings, five and one overall. And, you know, whenever you're on the road, it's always a tough test, especially against these Cowboys of Oklahoma State as they come charging and roping their way out onto the field and led by their mascot. Let's get this one started. It's the Cowboys and the Horn Frogs, and it's coming your way next. So you see Oklahoma State come out. And they get the ball first. They kick a field goal there, up 3 nothing. Now, third and 10 as we near the end of the first quarter. 55 seconds to go here in the first. Kemp looking to throw right side. There's Harris. Harris makes the catch, running down the sideline. Will they catch him? To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. On what was supposed to be a little first down, he turns it upfield and gets the touchdown. And he's broken the record for the longest pass in NCAA history. Now 7-3 here in the second quarter, Horn Frogs on top. Kemp, hand off to Johnson, running right side, and he will just be short of the first down. It'll be third and inches. You'll see the replay right here as Johnson takes that run straight to the right side and gets enough, almost enough, for the first down on that run. Now here we go, fourth and inches after they do not, do not get it on third and inches. Kemp. Throws the screen to Johnson. Johnson's got the first down and more inside the 30 to about the 31-yard line. And that play worked to perfection. They thought they could catch the Cowboys off guard by running the fourth and inches. They, they thought they could catch them off guard by going for it on fourth and inches. They call the perfect play, the halfback screen to Johnson, and it works. It gets them a first down and gets them inside the 30 to about the 31-yard line. So here we go, second and seven now later in the drive. Kemp. Takes a snap, play action to Henderson. Kemp looking over the middle of the field, finds Anderson. Anderson does get the first down to the 40-yard line, and Kemp here early on is 6 of 11 for 135 yards. First and 10, Kemp in the pistol. Man in motion to the left side. Hand off to Henderson, running left side. Got one man to beat, breaks the tackle, gets across the midfield, and down at about the 46 or the 45-yard line. Nice run by Henderson there. Uh, he is... The backup behind Johnson, but Johnson needed a breather on the sideline, I suppose. And he is now into the game for right now. So nice run by Henderson there. So here we go. Fourth down and three. Coach uh, Coach Big Troll is going for it here on fourth and three. Throwing left side. That's Ricky Harris again. And Ricky Harris has made the catch and put his team inside the 15-yard line to about the 13. Another fourth down conversion on this drive. This time from fourth and three. And they run a great play as Harris catches it along the sideline, makes the catch, or he does make the catch, gets pushed out of bounds. Another Horn Frog first down. Now on first and 10, Kemp running the option. Pitch out. Johnson inside the 10, inside the 5, first and goal inside the 3. Nice running on the option there. The pitch to Johnson. Johnson makes one man miss and gets pushed out of bounds inside the 5-yard line. Nearing the end zone again are the Horn Frogs. First and goal. Kemp uh, makes an audible at the line. Kemp throws it. Touchdown, Ricky Harris. His second touchdown reception of the game. And the Horn Frogs take a 14-3 lead as Kemp just took a step back, found Harris in the end zone on the slant. And thank you. Come back for more. Six points on the board for the Horn Frogs. 
And the, the bench, the sideline, is loving it. 14-3 now as we near halftime. Third and 16. Kemp drops back looking to throw it deep. There's Harris again. Harris inside the 40 makes a diving man miss. And Ricky Harris again. Third time's the charm for Ricky Harris. His third touchdown reception of the first half. And there's Brian Kemp breaking his own record that he broke earlier in the game. Now 21-3. 20 seconds left here in the first half. In a 21-3 ball game. Kemp looking. Throws it right side. There's Harris again inside the 30. Timeout Horn Frogs with 14 seconds to go. They're out of timeouts. First and 10, Kemp in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Kemp to the right side. Harris again. Uh-oh, they did this earlier in the first quarter. And Ricky Harris has burned the entire Oklahoma State secondary like it was a piece of toast. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. Ricky Harris has broken the record for the receiving yards in a game. And we're only to halftime. 28-3 now as we're in the third quarter. Kemp running the option, keeping the ball himself, picking up a great amount of yards inside the 45 almost to midfield. A great run by Kemp, keeping it on the option play there. And it picks up another first down for your Horn Frogs. And Kemp is wagging his finger. He's loving it. Second and 10 now. Kemp under center. Man in backfield is Henderson. Man in motion from right to left. Kemp, handoff Henderson, running left side. Gets the first down block there to the 40, and the the Horn Frogs will move the chains again. As you see, this nice little run by Henderson there gets the block he needed to pick up the first down, and gets tackled at about the 40 yard line. The Horn Frog mascot loving it, as usual. Whenever he travels, it seems like the Horn Frogs do well, except to that trip in Arkansas. Kemp first and 10, looking, throws it left side. Anderson makes the catch. Oh, wait, no, maybe he didn't. Incompletion. Wait, they're, no, they're calling that a fumble? He ne didn't have enough time to control that ball. That is an incomplete pass. Here's the replay. Look at this. He did not even have enough time to corral that, and they're calling that a fumble. That was not a fumble. That should be an incomplete pass. But Oklahoma State, nuts and bolts, we got screwed. We're on the road. Tough luck. We don't get the call. Oklahoma State takes over. My goodness. First and 10 now here in the third quarter. 28-3 to three still. Horn Frogs on top. Kent pitch out to Johnson. Johnson running right side near his midfield. Gets the first down for the Horn Frogs. Johnson's got eight carries for 63 yards. No touchdowns on the day. Now first and 10. Here later in the drive. Kemp looking. Throws it over the middle of the field. That's Anderson. Nice play by Anderson there. Gets to about the 30-yard line. And Anderson slow to get up after that, after that catch. As you see the replay, he just went over the middle of the field. Kemp found him in stride. Anderson went up for that catch and got rocked between two Cowboy defenders. And I would be slow to get up too, but by the size of those Cowboy defenders. Horn Frog mascot, don't get yourself dizzy. Third and ten now, Kemp. Under center, he takes the snap. He's dropping back. He's looking to throw. Throws it to the left side, and that is intercepted intended for O'Brien. And that will be tackled inside the 20. But it's okay as the Horn Frogs still lead by 25 and now into the fourth quarter. Kemp dropping back to throw. Kemp throws it over the middle of the field. Nice catch by Gray inside the 40. Down to about the 35-yard line. A huge play there to Gray the tight end. And they love to get the tight end involved in this offense. Look at this. Looking, it looks like he ran a streak pattern. Kemp found him deep, gets past his man, and gets all the way inside the 40 to about the 35-yard line before being pushed out of bounds. And Kemp is having a great day. Second and seven now. Kemp in the shotgun. Hand off to Henderson. Running right side. Inside uh, nearing the first down to the 25. And he looks like he has enough for the first down yardage. Kemp. First and ten handoff on the draw to Henderson again. And Henderson gets another first down. Nearing the 10 yard line. Nearing another first and goal as it will be first and ten from just outside the 10. Colt Mark at the 11 yard line. For the Horn Frogs here on this drive. First and 10 now. Kemp looking to throw over the middle. That's Brian. That's a touchdown. Another one for the Red Raiders, or for the Horn Frogs, excuse me. I don't know where the Red Raiders came into mind. I guess it was because of this scoring update I just got from Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, uh, Texas, they say that the Red Raiders are still losing to the Oklahoma Sooners, but we do not know that for sure. But over the middle for the touchdown, we do know this for a fact. That is a Horn Frog touchdown right there. And that is your ball game, folks. 
your final score here from Stillwater. The Horn Frogs 35 and the Cowboys 10. TCU include in uh, that. Excuse me, guys. TCU improves their in and increases their winning streak now as they are now 7 and 1 on the season and they look to keep up their winning streak as they have not lost for five straight games, guys. Five wins in a row and most of them have been in conference play. So let's keep this winning streak alive, guys. This was the last game that you've ever seen in this series that is in standard definition. I hope you've enjoyed it, but let's move this to HD. I'm tired of standard definition quality, and I know you guys are too. So it's a new t it's a new time in my channel's history. TCU is now going to be in HD. Ricky Harris is in HD as he's your player of the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed week 9 of the TCU uh, coaching carousel featuring Big Troll. Tried to get in announcer mode more this episode than I normally do, but uh, obviously I've still got a lot of things to work on, I can tell. Uh, so I like to thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, even though I stuttered and, and uh, was not the best that I could have been in this video, if you would give it a like, that would be much appreciated. And uh, you would win a cookie, but I don't have the ingredients to make a cookie, so... Um, you get a cookie that you can redeem some other time at a restaurant that probably would make a better cookie than I would. I don't know. Uh, so you're seeing the highlights of this game. And uh, come back next week for week 10 in HD quality. As I believe now the only series we have left that are in standard definition are the Heisman Challenges. And I'm pumping through those as fast as I can. Let's get my channel to full HD, guys. We're almost there. Well, we'll have a new intro here probably in the next couple weeks. Not, probably not for next week. Maybe for week 11 or week 12. I haven't decided yet as to how I'm going to make the intro for this series. But you see we are now 7-1 inside the top 10 now. Or we will be here as next week's game is at number 20, West Virginia. It's going to be a tough one from Morganstown. And we'll get into recruiting next time around. But let's take a look at some players of the week before we go. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoy. And uh, before you go, leave this video a like. And check out some of our Big 12 Players of the Week and our National Players of the Week. As I think we do indeed have one or two that cracked the NCAA Players of the Week. So I thank you guys for watching the video. And I am signing out. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.